One thing I found was this uh, vine. It goes all the way into the ground here and it was going all the way up into a tree. So I cut it. I believe I saw this on a prepper episode somewhere. It's raining now, but this water or whatever liquid inside for, I don't know, I think I cut it like about four o'clock and it's about 8.30 now. Um, so it looks like something, I don't know if you could see it here, that you could use in an emergency situation. I don't know what it's called. I guess I gotta look it up on Google. So I'm back here the next day and this, I, I looked it up, it's a wild grapevine. It's kind of woody, flaky, like they say. And this thing is still putting out sap water since yesterday. And it's 5.55 the next day. So this is over 24 hours of liquid this thing's been putting out. And supposedly it has uh, like amino acids or just helpful extra things. So I guess if you don't, you can't eat, <laughs> this will also be good. Uh, if you're out in a survival situation and so this is the daylight view of how it goes in if it's still dripping tomorrow I'll try it supposedly it shouldn't be like in an area where you know there's contaminated water but it's probably safe enough to test a little bit but totally interesting what the hell, now that I'm here, I'm just gonna taste test this, just to see. I don't know, it just tastes like water. Huh, let's try it again. Yep, it legit tastes like water. So, nothing funky. And one thing that I read is that there are other grapevines um, out in the wild that you, that does the same type of thing. But you have to look for if it if it smells funky or if it tastes a little funky on a little taste test sip. Um, don't do it. But something like this. Hey, I wonder how much water it would have put out if I put a container out last night. That would be a good experiment. So if I find another one, I think I'm going to do that. Today is Monday, April 12th. And I have a serious problem with dates. So um, today is definitely Monday, April 12th. I did check that. I said another video was Monday, April 11th, and that wasn't correct. Um, so this thing is actually still dripping. It seems like it's a little bit more of a slower drip now. But here we are. This cut piece is still dripping couple days later so that's something to be said for the wild grapevine so the grapevine that I cut as you can see here is still hanging so this one is still attached to the tree and it gets thinner as you go along um, so I cut it from that piece and it looks like there is one over here that I'm going to try to cut. There's actually two pieces that come out from this one piece here, which also has another piece jutting out that is going up into the tree here and is also hanging off to the side there. So from what I understand, this type of plant, if it hits the ground at some point, it starts producing another root. So similar to like berry canes and things like that when they hit the ground. Um, so this seems to be pretty significant. So my next significant piece in the ground. So my next test is going to be to cut one of these two and put a container and see how much comes out of there over a period of days because obviously over here I guess there's a lot of water down deep and it will produce a lot of liquid so that should be 
an experiment to wait for.